Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. Welcome to Lesson 5 of Skates Home Learning. Last time we took a look at Google's apps and all the different platforms and I asked for some feedback and people really wanted me to take a look at Google Meets which makes a lot of sense because it is a key platform in order to communicate and have those live lessons which is essential for that home learning. It is also super important for having meetings which I think is really key for this day and age. Um, so even if you are not an educator but you are working from home which turns out is most of uh, us these days because we are all taking that shelter in place. Uh, we can teach from home or we can have our meetings or our presentations from the comfort of our couch using Google Meets. So let's uh, start with taking a look at our calendar. So we're going to swipe on over and start with our calendar. So what you need to do is you need to create a calendar invite. So you're going to pick your time and you're going to title it. So let's say we want to make a lesson for our second period. So period two, world studies. And then we want to click more options. And then you add your description. So maybe it's a course team meeting, maybe it's a presentation for your business, um, or it is a live lesson on whatever you want it to be. You can go ahead and type what it is. Um, this is also really cool because if you are holding a presentation or a meeting or even a lesson and there's homework or things like that, you can actually attach documents right in there. So you can click that and the documents will pop up. You can add them right there. Or you also can highlight things and add a link and put that in there if you want to add that. And then anyone that you invite to this meeting or live lesson will have it right there in that invite. Um, then you go ahead and you add your guests. Um, you can cut and paste your entire class list and throw the emails right in there, or you can add them in one at a time um, right there. And once you're finished adding all of your guests, as you notice, I added just one, and already my Google Hangout Meet pops right up. Um, this is what you need to join your Google Meet, and so that's essential. As you can see, it can have up to 250 participants. Um, if you notice, there's a little arrow here. If you click on that, you can see uh, an ID and it also has a phone number. This is really essential, except, especially for us educators or those that are on the go. Um, our students are not always equipped with the computers, and so they can also join us by phone. Once you're finished with this part, you're going to go ahead and click Save. It'll ask you if you want to send this as an email. Definitely say yes, because then all of your students, your invites will get an email, and then I'll have the links and the phone number right in there so that they can join when the time comes. Then once you're finished, as you can see, the class has been created. So once you click on that, you're going to see that the links are right ahead in there. Now in order to join your Google Meet, all you have to do is click on the link, and it's going to pop up. So right away, the camera's going to set. So I'm not in the Meet yet. Um, once you go, you're going to see if anyone joined in ahead of you. So right now, obviously, no one's in there because the only person I invited was myself. And before it happens, it's going to ask you and your students or invitees uh, if you want to have your mic turned on immediately or your camera. So kids that maybe are a little gung chai and things like that, they could turn their camera off right away. So I can show you. Camera is off. They also can mute themselves right away. So that could be a prerequisite. They might forget, but you might in your email want to send out to the students, hey, make sure that your mic is muted going into the lesson, because if you have like 30 kids, uh, you don't want to have that background noise on. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to join now. So once we're in the Google Meet, um, obviously I'm the only one there, so it's nice and big. Um, but there are many options of how it can look when you're in there. So if you click on the three little dots, It'll say change layout right here, and you have the different options. Um, the other important one in here is going to be record meeting. So you're going to click record meeting, and then the entire lesson is going to be recorded. And then again, you need to wait until all the students have left the lesson, and then you're going to end record, and then you will end the session. Once you're finished, the recorded session will then get emailed to you. Now this is important because then you can post it in your Google Classroom so any student that missed your lesson can then go and watch it and they also will then have the lesson as well. So that's a really cool thing. Um, it also sends you a transcript of everything that happens in the chat bar. Uh, so there's any questions that you missed or things like that or if you had them do a discussion protocol in the chat bar, you also have a transcript of that. So 
Then if you go up here, it'll tell you who's all in the chat. So you also can keep note of who's joining for that engagement piece. So you just click on here and it will then list all those people for you. So as you can see, it's just me, but it would then also have everybody else in there as well. This right here will have your chat room. That's a really nice piece here. So you click on that and then the students are gonna be able to chat with each other so they can go back and forth. That's how you can have them ask questions. That's a really great tool because you don't want all of them to have their mics on. If they're all have their mics on, even if they're not talking, if things are going on in the background, sirens, babies crying, dogs barking, that background and that back feed is really going to interrupt your ability to teach and then kids aren't going to be able to hear you. So you definitely want to make sure all mics are turned off, which then brings me to the mics. So you want to teach them how to do that. So you want to teach them that down here is how they can control all of that. So you also can see these three little buttons. So the first one obviously is that camera that we talked about in the beginning. If they click it, as you can see, the camera turns off and whatever their emoji or just a phone will pop up. If they click it, they come back on again. This one over here is the mic. So if they click it, but when you click it again, it comes back on. Now, a really neat trick though is because you created the Hangout, if anybody does not mute themselves, Come back up here, remember this trick. When you click on this, remember all the people show up. You and only you have the power to mute anyone. Wouldn't you wish you could do that in real life in the classroom? You can't in real life, but you can in Google Meets. So if someone's mic is on, you click on them, you can hover over them and those three little options will pop up and you can mute them. That is a very fun trick. You also can hang up on them. I wouldn't recommend that until the very end when they're supposed to be gone, but those things you can do. All right. Um, then uh, over here is just the details again of the class. So you can, uh, if someone is having a hard time and you need to quick give them the phone number, that is right there for you. Um, and then finally, the presentation mode. This is the really cool part because this is, allows you to share your screen with all of your students. So if you want to show a video, if you want to do a PowerPoint presentation, if you want to go to a website and show them about it, that is how you can do this. So right down here it says present now. You're going to click the arrow and then it's going to say your entire screen. You're going to click that button and then this screen right here is going to pop up. You're gonna to have to click this right here, and then you'll see the share button turns blue. You're gonna click that, switch over, and it'll say you are presenting. So it says you're the one presenting to everyone. Now all of your students sees your screen, okay? So they're seeing what you see, and then their faces will be right here. So if I wanted to, I could now switch over and I could show them what I wanted. So I could switch my screen over to here, and you're gonna see how it popped up right there. Um, up here it says you're presenting to everyone. They can still see my screen. So if I wanted to play this video, I could do that. And they're going to be able to see that. From each of you to our amazing school. And they also and can hear it. what makes us the best. Okay. Um, I could also go and do the same thing if I wanted to play this PowerPoint. I could play that and they'd be able to see that. I could go to a website. Um, and then you also can still see that chat bar right here. So if they have questions, things like that, they can go and put that right in so you're still able to have that communication for them. And then when you're finished, you click this right here and you stop presenting. And it pops back up. And then again, at the very end of everything, you have them all leave, you come over to your three dots and you end the record meeting and you leave the conversation, you just click this hang up button and you left the meeting and then they're gonna, it will get emailed right to you and you'll be able to then send that out. I have left my meeting and I'm going to leave you with this. I hope you have a great time using Google Meet. Until next time, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and let me know which of the next apps you would like me to go deeper into and I will see you next time. Enjoy.